DIY project uh, here on Purple Collar Life is to rotate the tires on our 2014 Chevy Volt. Uh, I put a lot of miles on this Volt, upwards of 3,000 miles a month, so it's, it's important to keep the tires rotated regularly. So today's video will show you that process. So I like to get all the tools out that I will need before starting the process. Of course, I'm going to need a jack to lift up the Volt as I take the tires and wheels off. I need a four-way. And when I'm done, I'll need the torque wrench. I like this little stool, this Craftsman roller stool. I'll be wearing gloves. I use an extra wheel and tire because the Chevy Volt doesn't come with a spare. And I don't have jack stands that are low enough to hold a portion of the Volt up while the rest gets jacked up. So I use a jack to remove one wheel put the spare on temporarily, rotate all the others, and then put the final in its position where the spare is. I know it's an extra step, but I found that's just the quickest way for me to do it uh, without having a, a very short jack stand because the bolt sits relatively low to the ground. I use this rigid impact gun. Certainly a, a great purchase. Before that I had used an air impact wrench and it worked okay on the bolt, but it didn't have the torque to get the lug nuts off on the one ton super duty so this really makes that job a lot easier and it's so easy without the air hose and without having to worry about the pressure building up that I just use it for all vehicles now when I rotate the tires. I also have the socket here. This one is a three quarter inch that's what you use on the Chevy Volt 2014 model and I've got the key for the locking lug nut because these rims do have one locking nut on each wheel. And then I like to keep this box that has spare lug nuts in it. And I see I'm down to the last one now. Just one remaining in there. Because what happens is on some of these lug nuts on the Volt, the original Chevy ones had like a cap over top of the lug nut. And once that cap gets off, the socket doesn't fit great on the nut so as I come to ones where the cap has fallen off the lug nut I just replace those with a solid lug nut and again I got these at Advanced Auto Parts they're a doorman part number 611084 I'd highly recommend having some of those on hand if you have a 2014 Chevy Volt. Here's an example of what the lug nut looks like when the cap has come off of it it just becomes a, a standard lug nut without the acorn cap so like I say I just will I'll get rid of that lug nut when I rotate this tire and put the new solid lug nut on. As far as the lifting points on the Volt, the first one is underneath this very front. You can see that pad right there. That's where I'm going to put the jack when I start lifting the Volt. I like to always start with the locking, the keyed lug nut first, because that one I do not use the impact gun on, I just use the four-way. And for removing the lug nuts, I turn this rigid octane onto automatic. There's automatic one, two, and three for torque levels. I turn it on automatic for removing so it uses as much torque as necessary.
like I said, this wheel will be going on the back. So I will save this to move to the back. I'll put the spare here for now. The Volt doesn't come with the spare. I bought that one online so that I would have a spare if I ever needed one. And I'm thankful that I have because I've used it a couple times. These are replacements of the OEM tire. These are the Goodyear Assurance. Uh, and these are the, the special ones that are lighter weight made specifically for the Volt at the time. And they have a very thin uh, sidewall. So that's where I've had two issues where I've had flat tires and I had to actually leave the car, come home and get the spare tire, take it back out along with the jack and the uh, um, impact gun and the wrench to be able to change the tire wherever it was flat. Um, so these Goodyear tires, they do get you the best mileage as far as your electric vehicle range but I found that the edges wear down really quickly um, these are actually the third set of these Goodyear Assurance that have been on this Volt it has currently 120,000 miles on it and I have a separate set of winter tires and wheels that I run in the winter time here in Pennsylvania so these don't have very much very many miles on them but I want to get them to the back because they're the, the longer that they're on the front the more that this inner and outer edge will wear down. And it seems to be just this tire brand. You'll see that I bought Pirelli's as the replacements. And I'll show you the difference in those and how much better they seem to be holding up. Here's a sample of one of the lug nuts that has that cap on it. And that cap will eventually come off, but right now it's it's okay. Since this wheel is just going on here temporarily, I'm going to leave the keyed lug nut off. I will set my impact gun to one because like I said, it's just going on temporarily, so I'm just going to place it until I get the other wheel up there. And we'll move on to the rear. The jacking point here at the rear is actually right by an exhaust hanger. So I just pull back from the exhaust hanger, make sure I'm lined up with that jacking point before I start lifting the vehicle. Again, I'll remove the key lug nut first. sure that the rigid gun is set on auto for removing the lug nuts. Use the thumb director to what, say whether I'm going in reverse or forward. To remove is reverse. I'll take this bad lug nut off first that I'll be replacing. And you can see what happens when that cap comes off the lug nut. It's just a little bit smaller than the regular size, so it's sloppy inside the um, wrench. Now this is an example of the Pirelli tire. This tire has been on the exact same amount of time as that uh, Goodyear Assurance that we just took off the front. And this one has held up way better on the sidewalls. This was actually on the front for quite a while. And I put it here to the back um, just in the last month or so. But I noticed already that the Goodyear was wearing so quickly on the front that I wanted to get these Pirellis back on the front. And when I rotated them to the front, those assurances came from crossways on the vehicle from the back. So I'm rotating this time, just moving these straight to the front from the back position. And I'd recommend these. These are Pirelli Centrado P7s. The Volt takes 215, 55, R17. 
and these are the all season plus tires and like I said I run different tires in the winter time but these seem to be really great as far as holding the road you can see the deep channels they're great in the rain so I I'd, I'd highly recommend these to replace your Goodyear's if you have the stock Goodyear's on the bolt this one will be going on the front Here's that new lug nut, 12 by 1.5. Like I said, that's a doorman from Advanced Auto Parts, part number 611084. I'll need to get some more of those. So I'll flip this switch to forward. I set the torque to one. and I crisscross as I'm starting the tightening process. And like I said, I do not use the impact gun on the keyed lug nut. And then I move this to two for the final tightening and then I'll check it with the torque wrench. And we'll move on to the next location. Again, I'll put my spare on here just temporarily until I get that Corellia from the back moved up here. Another thing I love about this rigid impact gun is the light. It really helps you see where you're working.
great, now we're ready to check the torque of the lug nuts and then we will reprogram the TPMS system so that it knows the correct location of each tire. Okay, so according to the instruction manual for the Volt, the recommended torque for these wheels and, and lug nuts is 100 foot-pounds. So I'm going to set my torque wrench at 100 foot-pounds. Alright, so that wheel is done. I'll repeat that same process for the other three. Final step in this process is recalibrating the TPMS sensor so that they know the location of each tire correctly. Now you can take this to a tire shop or take it to the dealership and do this, but they will charge you a fee for it. I found that since I like to rotate the tires myself, it's something I can do and something that I don't mind doing to save some money, that I went ahead and bought off of eBay this particular tool. And this, for the 2014 Chevy Volt, is the model EL-50448. And this is what I use to reprogram the TPMS system to locate the correct tire in the correct position. This is also helpful for me because I use separate set of winter tires and wheels. So this same tool programs that set of winter tires and wheels to the vehicle. And then when I switch back to the summer tires in the summertime, I can use the tool again. So it's easily paid for itself uh, just having this here in the garage. So I'm in the Volt now and I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to reconfigure the tire locations. So I'll turn the Volt on. I'll use this select knob until I get to the tire pressure sensor. Holding in on that select button was what prompted this. Are you sure that you want to relearn? Rotate the knob so that it selects yes and press the select button. It says learning in process. Now we'll get out of the vehicle. You'll notice that my mirror and front turn signal indicator are illuminated in this front position. That's telling me it wants to learn what wheel is in that position. So I'm going to use this tool, push it right against the sidewall near the valve stem, and hold the button in. It's learned that location. Now you'll see that it's got this light and this mirror illuminated. It's ready to learn this one. You just work your way around the vehicle like this and it tries to help you along the way by illuminating the light in that corner. And that indicates that it's learned all the new locations. And you can see it now has all the pressure shown. This has been a great vehicle. Uh, we'll do a separate video on the Chevy Volt at some point, but I've absolutely loved it. Like I said, I do a lot of long trips. So my lifetime average is 69.4 miles per gallon. Um, and and I, I'm happy with that considering how often I travel further than the battery range. And if those of you that don't know, if you go beyond the battery range, there's an electric generator that runs off gasoline, basically a gas motor that creates electricity for the vehicle to keep driving.
Tire rotation on the Volt is complete. Uh, the entire process took me a little over an hour. That's primarily because I was resetting cameras and, and learning that process of setting up cameras while I'm completing a task. Normally I would say it would probably take a half an hour or so. Cost of that at a dealership or Walmart, for example, somewhere around $20 to $50. And they may charge a little extra to reprogram that TPMS sensor system. So I didn't mind saving the money, certainly something I'm capable of doing. And I also like checking out the tires when I'm rotating them, make sure there's no issues, see how they're wearing. Uh, I just enjoy that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please click subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And we hope to keep making more content like this. Basically just things we're doing here at the house to get things done. Uh, and we enjoy doing them, and, and we don't mind making the videos along the way. Thank you. Um, so now, uh, uh, um, and, um, um, these don't have very much, very many regular sides, so it's sides, so it's sloppy and uh, um, just um, uh, um, so I, I. I